All right, welcome back to another episode of Art Time. Today, we are working on the Crimson Jungle. Now, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but a large majority of the Crimson Jungle is a whole bunch of brush-related stuff. Stuff I can't really use a pen tool for. So, with that being said, we're going to go right into this. And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. But, uh, yeah. Awesome. Great. Cool. So, <clears throat> we are doing the Crimson Jungle. We're doing it pretty early, too, because I want to try to get a whole bunch of this done with. Um, let me see where this is at right now. So, uh, the Crimson Jungle. This, and then there's the Undead Ruins, followed by the Sky Shoal, then the Void, then lastly we got probably Space Abyss and Lament. So we don't have that many regions left to cover, which is great. The closer we can get done with this, the better. Stop it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. There's a decent amount of uh, stuff that we gotta do before we can get to those regions. But as it stands right now, we're just focusing on what we have at the moment. And that's all that really matters right now. So this is a recreate, uh, recreation, yes, technically speaking. Stop it. Get the cat strap, get over here. And she destroyed her toy. There used to be a fish connected to this, but then she destroyed it. What was that? But yes, um, this is a recreation of the... Crimson Jungle drawing we did long ago. Uh, let me see. In album 11, I can even show you the picture of it. This is what we did the first time around. The Crimson Jungle. But, um, you know, we're going to go on ahead and uh, improve upon it now. Make it look nicer. And, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're making it look nicer. Like most of these particular types of uh, art time episodes, this is probably going to be a couple to a few parts, depending on what um, what it is I need to do. And most likely, it's going to be a couple, probably. And I think what I'm going to be focusing on for this episode is simply just coloring everything, and depending on what I want to do, shade and texture. Uh, depending on how much time we are into this, we're probably going to do it maybe off camera. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Stop it. That's just a piece of fuzz connected to the thing because you keep trying to go up there and scratch shit, cat. But uh, yeah, as I was saying before, uh, we don't know where we're going to end up in this particular department. So uh, we're just going to go in one layer at a time. Um, is there anything new happening? Well, I guess I could talk about that drawing that I did on DeviantArt. YouTube ain't going to see because of the fact that it's a mature drawing. Um, that drawing with the character by the name of Trixie Nismo. And if you're not on DeviantArt, you will have no clue who the hell that character is. But somebody else's character who's in, uh, like, the same fetish community as I is in, in Tegel Fetish and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, he's doing pretty good so far. Even the creator of the character likes it. I even get something of Luna soon from them at some point. We'll see. Can't wait to see. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, I feel like this should actually be up higher. Yeah, I'll put this up here. Whoops. Mm, grass. And then you underneath that would be where the trees are. All right, there we go. So yeah, the Crimson Jungle is all about red colored foliage and stuff like that. Got a whole bunch of stuff here that I'm going to add in at some point. We're, all, we're going to be doing the shading last after we've done all the brush stuff because this is uh, all that we can do at the moment. 
we'll color everything in and it's just going to look weird without the uh, brush so I might as well color in and put the brushes in why not I'll get everything colored in the trees and the grass and all that stuff set up and then I'm going to see what I can do about getting some more rock sets going here and there maybe uh, we'll see what happens but at currently stands, I just want to try to get as much as this done with as possible. <sighs> I've got another um, crossover-esque drawing with my characters and another from DeviantArt. I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's not like they're going to be watching this video in particular. I'm like, anybody's going to be watching the video in particular, so I, I could get away with uh, giving up spoilers of things because not a lot of people are really going to watch it unless you go over there and tell him. I want to keep it a surprise for him or her. I don't remember. I don't really remember what their gender was, so we'll just save them for now. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple of twins. Probably like 18 years old, both in a school scenario. Do with um, a creep they find. You know, you know what I'm talking about? This particular, you know, I don't, I don't know how the hell I'm going to say this without going too far into the spoilers category. Well, spoilers is a different term. Here's the, a clue. I'm trying to give you clues. I'm not trying to give you the thing outright. I'm trying to give you clues. I just try to look at the camera more, shouldn't I? But my focus is reliant on here instead of paying attention to you guys. You're here listening along. You're not even looking at the video. You're probably just listening to it, future people. Which is fine by me. Apparently you like my ramblings of the insane man. You know, I'm not going to knock it. Just, uh, you know, appreciate what you do. Giving me some listen time, even though it's not necessarily entirely views. But, uh, uh, oh yeah, right, the, the clues, the hints, the whoops, I didn't mean to cut the path. Speaking of cut, I got cut, did a freaking work today with stupid protruding sharp object within a machine known as uh, cleaner, sea cleaner. No, not that kind of sea cleaner. It went on work <laughs> as much as I would freaking... I would, hmm. Would working at a sex toy factory be... I'm using. <laughs> um, I wish, or or not. I don't know. It probably is the the worst thing in the world. It probably is like you probably can't take the product. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, sea cleaner. You know, give you. You know, let you guys guess what the C stands for. If you want to think of it as the C, as in the quotes, then go on ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. Blood leak. But, uh, no, I got cut. Anyways, cut. Oh, yeah, we were talking about cut here, and then, and then we got distracted by the clues I'm supposed to be giving you. All right, the clues. The clues, clues, clues. Let's see. Um, there's a uh, Thai bondage stuff. Tied. <laughs> Who? Tying up? Yeah? Mm -hmm. no, I'm not gonna try to give away the, the hint and the clues, but I'm pretty sure you already know who it is I'm talking about right now, because I literally almost just said the whole series name. What are you doing? What are you looking at? Stop clawing at my crotch. Sweet, sweet legs. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, um... Yeah, crossover with those people. I say that I'm going to give you the full thing because of the fact that nobody's going to be watching this in the time it takes for me to get there. I mean, that's close to the end of August. And right now we're getting close to the end of June. Hmm. We're getting close to the month that I am scared yet excited for. For a few reasons. Um... I've got a lot to do on that particular month, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be quite a hectic month, I must say. But, uh, yes, 
Towards the end of August is when I'm going to be making this particular little crossover drawing. And what is this crossover, you may ask? Well, I can t at least tell you this. The girls involved are from the ones from Naughty Productions. Mm, which ones can you wager, I guess? Oh, wait. Um, 3A. I'll give you some time to guess before I go on ahead and um, say it. You know, you're probably just like pausing the video like, Ooh, ooh let, let me guess before you say the answer. Oh, wait. That's the wrong thing. I forgot about that tidbit. I forgot about that tidbit. I gotta switch over to the grass color. Here we go. Much better. Anyways, that was enough time to guess. The girls involved in uh, the Nani Productions crew in this particular drawing towards the end of August is going to be uh, Tammy, Moon, and Yuri, with Rosa being the camera girl, but only, like, talked about in the description of the drawing. And there will be two girls, there is your other hint, of this particular set of characters. Now, I've seen people do fan art related drawings of this particular person's characters. Um. Shite? I'll put the dirt under here. I've seen people do fan art related. or fan art. I guess technically it is considered fan art, but if I put that in the fan art category, then I'm not going to be able to draw it as much as I'd like, so. It's not going to be in the fan art category. Even though it's implied fan art. Because, uh, well, you know what I mean, right, cat? But, uh, yes. Two characters. Oh, my way I'm drinking Mepsi. Ah. Orange soda gone. Gotta write more down on the list to get more. Mepsi will do for now. Uh, I guess you're gonna be like this. Yep. And, um, where was I? Ah, yes, of course. Um, the person had their characters drawn by a few people. So it seems as though that I should be allowed to draw fan art characters of them. But I will go on ahead and give a heads up notice. Ask uh, whether or not that's okay. Should be, right? What are you doing back here? <clears throat> I don't know what the hell she's splashing. Psst. Let me check back here for a second. Where the hell she go? <clears throat> you okay? Anywhere. Ow. I can't want to freaking the random shit on the ground. Don't you worry at me. Alright, where was I? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I'll still go on ahead and uh, ask for permission. It was a long time ago since the uh, that one contest, which is the... Um, I think I might have showed you her before. Not uh, the character in question. Uh, let, me, let me go back. Standalone, normal. Right, here we go. Shush. Here's the character that I drew in the last drawing. Interesting character, right? And the character that of which she went after uh, that would be in to draw. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, did I go up? Ah, there we go. Because the reference has a little mature stuff in it. So I'm going to go on ahead and just... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just go on ahead and go right... Oh, God damn it! Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Freaking piece of crap. What do you call it? Making it difficult for me to zoom in on characters? I only move Crimson Jungle back up. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm going to have to do it like this. Do, 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 do. Boom. There she is. That's the character I drew. Mm-hmm. 
If you don't know who she's from, she's uh, created by a, a person by the name of Jimbo. Jim James. Son, let me tell you a little something about rockets. Oh, shoot. I sound a banana. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yes, Jimbo. Um, he created her, and, and then he made a contest for certain robots. And uh, Shakira only got an honorable mention. And it, it's funny a uh, naming scheme for Shakira. Because, um, if you don't know, uh, let me, ah, oh, crap, I gotta go all the way back to desktop, then the artwork shortcut base, then here, then here, and then that would be like, what, 45? Or was it 44? What, uh, what album was it? 46, ah, here we go. The mechanically genius Josephine Jotusco and her creation, Shakira. And uh, if any of you know anything about the music world and anything about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Shakira is, then we'll talk about good old fashioned sick rapper, singer, music. That's what I'm looking for, right? Music. Is a thing, you know, because you got like, you can't, you got like a lot, a bunch of uh, JoJo related uh, stand users who have stands that consist of like music related names. There's also Speedwagon, stop it. Even though Oreo Speedwagon wasn't during a time of stand users. In fact, he wasn't in season three at all, was he? No, I think he died of old age at that point, right? This cat's being a fucking basque today. Ah, yes, of course. Ah, yes, of course. Dirt. 1G should be here. There we go. Ugh. Blanket attack. There we go. Well, not really blanket attack. That's more of a cover. Uh, Blood River. Let's see. There we go. What are you looking at? What do you want? Man. Don't you go back there and cause the camera to go over the place. Cat. Uh, what was that? Oh, yes, right. Uh, that's JoJo and musics and all that stuff. Right, of course. Yeah, this, her entire character was inspired off of JoJo. Stop it! Why are you causing so many issues? He is Christ cat. Man. All of you, can, you probably can't even see her here, can you? Also, we're still here, right? Ah, yes, there we go. <laughs> 18 minutes in, and you're giving me so many issues that I have to try to figure out a way to distract you. See, look at this. <laughs> He's getting smacked in the snout by it. Red cat. I'm not even moving it. You're just smacking with yourself in the face with it now. <laughs> I think she's trying to grab it with her mouth. Yeah, there she goes. Grabbing it with her mouth. Oh, she was about to. Now she's just smacking it. Alright, are you satisfied now, cat? I'm very busy. Stop destroying the entire area. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Shakira, based off of um, the singer Shakira, and then Josephine Jotusco. Just a JoJo-esque supervillain over here with fetishes instead of, like, murder and stuff like that. Interesting concept, right? Especially with creations such as Shakira. I also had another character who is in the same vein of JoJo-related uh, creations. One by the name of T. Kelly. As in, like, R. Kelly. Being the ro well, yeah, technically speaking, the robot. Oh my god, cat, stop scratching shit. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Actually, I could probably get you a drawing of her in a safe drawing. Uh, quickest way to show you it. All right, here we go. Uh, T. Kelly, Anna Lee. Also, just a whole bunch of other characters here. Sun Spice. Character I only made like twice, but yet decided to put in this entourage of all, almost all creation of mine. And there's even more after that, too. Just because I made these characters doesn't mean that that's all there is to it. I mean, you've seen, like, several of them that I haven't, uh, drawn, well, several. Eight so far, at this point. Well, no, I think it, it, I think it's only six you've seen so far, but there's two more before that because I didn't start doing YouTube videos until a certain point. So, technically speaking... Uh, yes, that's right. Um... You've seen six new characters, followed by a bunch of other characters. In the overview drawings, yes, that's right, the overview drawings. That we haven't put in yet. Well... What, what overviews are there? There's the, um... The equipment, there's the gemstone. I think that's it so far. And we're about to have like nine more due to the class overview drawing. That one's going to be insane. You have no idea how insane that one is going to be. It's going to be such an insanely hectic drawing with so much that has to get made. The amount of creations here that I have to make. You're going to see nine new characters. However, oops. One of them is going to be a character we already know, and that's to fill in the slot. Oh yeah, I forgot that wizardess girl. Wait, the mana overview. That's right, the wizardess girl. That makes sense because we got Gwyneth showing in a little bit of one of them, Genthru showing in another, Dar Domodora showing in another. But we don't have Ari Ariella yet. Kind of glad we got the class overview because it gets me all the overviews that I need. As well as add a um, nine new characters for like classes and whatnot. Yes, of course. But um, that won't be for a little bit while longer now. Let me do some math and figure out how many drawings it's going to take before I get to the drawing in question. <sighs> so after this one, I have to do one more hard mature drawing and that prepare for July because July is going to be a pain in the ass month and I'm going to need as much space and time as I can possibly get to get all of those big projects done. Well, there's only really two, well, one big project and one major project. So that means that after this, there's the hardcore mature drawing, which is going to be uh, kept a secret for now. Try to give y'all some clues though. It, it does have to do with furries. You see, the Totally Spies drawing netted me five or four more patrons. One who's gonna be uh, resubscribing for um, uh, another month, and three who are just there to check things out. So thank y'all for becoming Patreon, even if it is only for one month. I understand these trying times. But thank you for your support, nonetheless. <clears throat> Even if you're never going to see this video, thank you for your support. And then there is... Oh, wait, no, right, right. Um, the furry-related drawing that I have in mind is supposed to tap into the furry market because apparently furries really like to buy a whole bunch of furry-related stuff, so why the hell not? And... Me saying that already is a pretty big freaking hint as to who the hell I'm going to be drawing, but I'm not going to say it yet. No. I gave the hint, but it's up to you to be smart enough to figure it out. <clears throat> it's a group of characters, well, not really group, but like half of a group of characters that I haven't really worked on that much as of late. Uh, wait a minute, this should be lower. Major reason being, Elementals Reborn is going to be getting its series starting up soon. 
So I'm getting the overviews finished and all that as much as I possibly can. <clears throat> With that being said, it's been a while since I've worked on any of these characters. So it'll be nice to be able to draw them again. Even if it is for a uh, Patreon drawing, which it, you know, I mean, that's still pretty freaking good because let's be honest here, it's, it's good to want to be able to make money off of your work. I'm not making any money off of the regular DeviantArt stuff. But a good way to make money is to go on ahead and make Patreon. Uh, pa uh, patron. You get patrons. Patreon and stuff like that. Or at the very least, you know, that's one good way. I know there's others, but I'm looking for one that allows for more mature related stuff. So long as it's not like straight up pornography, of course. Which is like, you know... Thing old uh, guy on girl or girl on girl. I mean, it wouldn't be mainly that, realistically speaking. Uh, uh, talking about that kind of stuff is mostly like real life. Art seems to be fine from what I have seen throughout the entirety of multiple of Patreon. So that's good. That's a good place right there. Good start. Even if they don't allow for us not say for work artists to get more advertisement you'd be able to get more money if you did that you know advertise not say for work stuff or at the very least maybe keep it in its own category or something and only certain people can access i don't know it seems like a pretty good idea why not why not choose that option instead of trying to hide all that kind of stuff some of these companies out there really need to, like, let loose on the lewdness for once. Tumblr made the big mistake of banning a whole bunch of mature content from their platform. A lot of people left. A lot of people left indeed. A huge amount. I don't understand why people, so why some people are so vividly adamant on trying to ostracize all fetish or not safe for work related stuff. It's a natural part of the human cycle. We want to see this kind of stuff, right? So let us do it. Don't just shun all of that out, like allow for some way to be able to go on ahead and, um, do it without having to worry about other people seeing it. And not like a little own um, subsection or something. I don't know. Instead of just saying, no, none of that. We're going to remove all of that from existence because we hate that. Which is kind of stupid. Especially if you don't read the stories that come from these, some of these stories. Like, for instance, I'm, I'm literally making a story off of the My Hero Academia cro uh, crossover, alternate universe with Luna involved. Couple of its fetish arts so far. Couple of its normal. Well, I can't really say one of them being normal because it's a man ripping out another man's heart. And it's a bloody mess. And you already have seen that drawing, of course. You all already know that drawing. It's in uh, it's our time episode. What is it? Oh God, I, I gotta go back. What, what episode was that? Ah, episode thirty-two of our time, which doesn't equate to actual you know videos because episodes are ah shit. Wait, 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 wait. It's fine. I just need to go back there. Oh wait, that's why I did that because I was done with that actually. <laughs> Right, I remember now. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, I guess, of course. Um, we got Luna's introduction into the My Hero Academia universe, starting with Midnight Mountain Lady and Uwabami. That snake girl who... Surprise, I'm still able to vaguely remember her name because she's barely utilized, like, at all. But, uh, yeah. And then the next, the second episode involved Luna with, uh, the Pussycat Girls, Ragdoll, Mandalay, and Pixie Bob. Then the fifth episode, fourth, third episode, oh, Christ Brain, 
And the third episode involves Kane the Right and Ingu beating the ever living shit out of all for one, punching his heart out with his normal hands. Uh, I mean, you all already have seen it, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. Boom! Oh, normal hands! Not even the mechanical hands over here! Oh! And then, of course, the fourth episode with Luna healing up All Might's wound right over here. Nice one, right? I'm an old thing I'll talk about good old crossover that started with fetish art, but then started to go into a safe work. Well, oh, it, technically... Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I can't even dangle. Yeah, your freaking what do you call it here? Trying to rub that on a damn bag, you fool. All you got to do is not that. Seriously, cat. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, be right back. I'm gonna clean up the chat mess because you don't know how to freaking. Jesus Christ, cat. Really? Ugh. Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to get these washed. Because you are an idiot who don't know how to clean yourself properly. Whatevs, it's fine. Ugh, I'll freaking. Matter of fact, I'll pause this so y'all don't have to watch me do this. Pause for shit. Well, that was annoying. But, we uh, did the thing that we were supposed to do. And, uh, cleaned up. Nonsense. Uh, anyways, where were we? I don't even remember where we were. Conversation-wise. Thank you right now. <sighs> what matters right now is that we get this done with. As much as we can. As quickly as we can. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, I got it. Move this stuff back. Take a whole bunch of shit apart. Not really a whole bunch of shit apart. I don't know why I said it like that. I gotta remove a pillow and blanket and then uh, get the sheets out. Now I'm washing those sheets as we speak. What are you looking at? You did this. You know what you did? You and your stupidity. Well, it don't quite matter now. All that matters is that we get this done with. Ah yes, here's the dirt. Dirt 1K. I don't know where I was, so I'm just going to probably try to figure out another conversational topic. So, um... Uh... Oh, I'm tired still, somehow. I guess we could talk about the idiot cops who are freaking causing ginormous gangsterish traffic jams because of their inability to direct traffic. Freaking dang old cops were underneath this bridge for so goddamn long now. And the traffic they cause goes spans down two freaking traffic lights worth, potentially even three. Three is more impressive when you think about how far the third one is away from all the others. And I, I think the best example I could probably give to you is this circle is a traffic light, this circle is another traffic light, and this is probably where the other one is, just about here, because that's a lengthy ass road too. And then here's the bridge that they, these idiots are working on, still, constantly, and aren't doing a good job at being able to direct traffic where it needs to be directed to. Idiots. They're not doing a good job of directing traffic. They're causing a lot of backups. I'm gonna have to go the long way around until that shit gets fucking done with. Freaking twice now we have to deal with that crap. And it's annoying. These cops need to stop being dumbasses and start directing traffic properly. Not wait like 20 minutes for one lane and then 20 minutes for the next. You'll get a lot of people late like that, you idiots. You morons, you imbeciles. Aside from that, that's not how you need to direct traffic. Do traffic lights wait 20 minutes? No, they don't wait 20 friggin' minutes. It's like a few minutes at best. 
No, no, here you idiots are. What are you doing? Hulk. Oh, you got your claw stuck on there, huh? How'd you get your claw stuck on it? There you go. Freaking haphazardous cat right here. So as I was saying, yes, these idiot cops don't know how to direct traffic. I feel like it'd be a hell of a lot better to hire a professional traffic director, and then boom. I only gotta wait like five minutes and then go down the road. Several cars get brought down and it doesn't get backed up. Because it's, it's really difficult to tell who the hell is at fault here. But it's, it feels as though these idiots aren't doing a good job at directing traffic. They're not actually bringing in those who are whose job it, it is to direct traffic. That's what it feels like. And it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Kind of annoying. And all of this because of a freaking semi-truck crashing in, or some, doing something about crashing and bridge. Freaking bridge is like, you go under and then you go here, and that's the only way to get into there without having to go the long way around. It's, here's the best path I can, like, give you. Here is, let's say this is path A, and this is where we need to go to get to the main path. That's path A, right? Doesn't take too long to get to this point right here. I mean, they all like right over here. And then we gotta go this path over here, which actually goes down in this direction, then this direction, and all the way in this direction, comes down to here, and it's not the exact direction, but uh, just about, or maybe not just about, but definitely goes far in like this direction up here. Whoops. It... There we go. This direction until it, say, gets to here, and then we have to do that. A uh, far cry from the direction that we have to freaking go normally, and now I have to go in this direction every time until these idiots decide to unblock themselves from here. If only I had some flying ability to go from point A to point B like that. Just fly right on over everything. <sighs> yeah, that would be a hell of a lot better. And also help me get over my fear of heights if I can just fly and not have to worry about falling. But uh, yeah, that's that's a nonsense that we've been having to deal with for the past couple of freaking days. Dumbass truck driver on Thursday decided to decide to break down to the bridge and cause massive work that needs to get done with. And then we got these dumbass cops who don't know how to traffic, who aren't, like, frickin' calling in a professional. Sure, it might be an emergency scenario. You gotta, like, have a whole bunch of construction to work there and fix the problem this idiot trucker caused. But you guys aren't the ones meant to frickin' direct traffic. I'm sure there's somebody else out there who actually frickin' knows how to direct traffic. So if I'm gonna make everyone wait 20 frickin' minutes... It's infuriating. It's in annoyingly infuriating. And all the truckers out on the road out there being slow and causing accidents and so many issues. It's like all the truck drivers in this freaking place are just backwards ass stupid. Why is that? Why are all the truck drivers in our area just backwards ass stupid? Some of them literally have to go into the opposite lane just to be able to make the proper turn. And I've seen good truck drivers out there who make the proper turn and do it fast enough. But it's rare to find anyone else like that out there. It's all just idiots who don't know how to drive trucks and don't deserve to drive a truck. That's my experience with truck drivers. Rare do I ever find a truck driver that actually knows what they're doing and can do it fast and efficient without causing any issues to both the people on the road and their cargo. But to have to deal with those obnoxious annoyances, yeah, that's, that's annoying. It's insanely annoying. But I'm sure I'm not the only one with the problems with those truck drivers not being good truck drivers. Taking millennials to turn and having to literally go into another lane just to be able to properly make the turn. Ugh. And I 
I've seen many problems with trucks throughout the entirety of driving to this hellhole of a place known as work. Even that one truck driver just blocked up like this one particular bridge. Like, uh, let's say back to the path here, there's a bridge like right here, say, so to speak. And here's a truck driver just like right here, somehow managing to get him so... Let me do this so it know. And there's a truck driver right here, somehow managing to get stuck and unable to move in this freaking spot right here. And it's in a, he's in a pretty precarious spot where there's no other way to get to this point because every other path here is separate from everything else. And then this area over here is just like stuck causing up a whole bunch of traffic on both sides. It's just annoying. Some people don't deserve to be at the wheels of a truck and it shows. Especially those who are douchebags on purpose. Despite the fact that they're driving even bigger death machines than what we are driving. I've noticed many trucks on the road to my workplace that just somehow make me question how the hell they managed to get into that position. I don't think I'll talk about freaking annoying, man. Y'all's gotta learn how to truck better. Y'all's gotta learn how to truck better. And y'all's got to learn how to not cause massive traffic. A lot of traffic's caused by a lot of trucks, but it's also caused by some idiots as well. Those who try to surpass a truck without looking around their surroundings and making sure that it's good and clear. Because if you don't look around your surroundings and make sure that it's good and clear, chances are you're going to cause a collision. And that's not what anyone wants. Because then that means there's going to be even more traffic. Whoops, that's not what I want. There's going to be even more tra if traffic, and a lot of people are just going to keep getting late to their freaking place because of um, all this traffic. You think, oh, that should be enough work. Nope, they're still working on it. They're taking a month to work on it. I don't think so, but I'm going to be infuriated if they do. Take you a month to fix damage that a truck driver causes? How big is the damage? No idea. Although I do see signs about something with oil and stuff like that. Maybe the truck driver somehow managed to hit a bridge. Or a, a, a pipe in the bridge. Because he did hit a bridge. Or at least I think he hit a bridge. He hit somewhere around the bridge. And then when he hit that bridge, a whole bunch of oil spilled out. And oh no, we're in big trouble now. Failed to do the thing that most truckers are supposed to do, which is not cause a collision. Especially of your own volition, and not of someone else's. You know, the whole freaking learn how to make the turn properly in trucks and not cause an entire lane blockage or run into something important. Uh, I don't know, but it's really annoying. Makes me wish that um, there were some regulations when it comes to signing up for being a truck driver. It shouldn't just be a case of if you know how to drive and can handle a big rig, hey, um, there you go. You should learn how to drive a truck and, as well, have some vague idea of how to be able to move efficiently and fast in it without causing any car damage. I'm pretty sure a lot of these annoying corporations would enjoy to have something like that. Primarily because of the fact that they'll be able to get their products out faster and get even more products out faster. And that's... Why do I call that Tree 9? That's Dirt 1L. This should be Dirt 1M. There we go. Ugh, the road is such an annoying place sometimes. I really do wish I had the ability to fly. Maybe perhaps on a broom stick. Or just a hover vehicle of some form. What about that one vehicle from the Blade Runner Black Lotus that the J drives? And that's a good one. That's a nice vehicle. Goes up high in air. Although, again, height related and it'd be easier to drive something or have it be of my own power so I'd be like oh yes my own power I don't have to worry about running gas while I'm in the in the sky 
or having to worry about getting a special type of gas is probably more expensive than the gas that we have for normal cars. Just some ability of flight is all I want. Yeah, flight ability. If anything, just to cut the uh, cut it to the chase and get to where I need to get to quicker, as well as avoid all the idiots on the road. <sighs> all right. Well, now that I've efficiently vented my frustrations, um. We are getting close to finishing up this portion here. The tree portion right over here. Not as close as I'd like, but we are close. Not close as we don't like because of the problem you caused, cat. What are you giving me that look for? I gotta wash my damn sheets. All because of ye. It all don't matter. It don't matter. It shouldn't take too long to get that stuff washed. Washing a whole bunch of other stuff as well, because some people apparently use that as a hamper instead of something else. Ugh. The hamper that I have is completely freaking broken. Barely holding on by... Well, it's not really a thread. Barely, hold, barely holding on by the plastic that it's attached to. The plastic that it is, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, well, let's do that. But, uh, yeah. Nah, that's, um... Nah, that's something we've got going on in the background. Might, uh, pause the video in between when I hear that it's finished. Or if I can even pay attention to whether or not it's going to get finished. Well, I guess it don't matter. So we're going to be at this for a bit. Even after the video is finished, we're going to be at this for a bit before the night ends, so, uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, Alright, anyways, um... I guess I could talk about the show that I've been watching currently. A show that's replacing, um, Brotherhood, now that I have finished that up. I already told you about it before, the Jujutsu Kaisen show. My own thing, old interesting show right there. Got a couple of uh, attractive looking milfs, I gotta say. My own thing, old. Pretty good, right? Pretty good indeed. One of which feels like they're not gonna get utilized as much, and the other one feels like the main character of this particular season. Yeah. Alright, um. Trees, nine, six. Oh, I should have separated that better. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, because these aren't being shown right now. You can barely see most of this anyway, so part of this doesn't even matter. I think the only thing that really matters is this part right over here, which covers up most of this. I do want to have some uh, access to the dark skies right there, so that's a good idea. That's a good place to put that all over there. Just leave some spots open to see the darkness in the sky. Black sky. Because that's what it is. It's just basically a black sky. Are you? Ah, yes, of course. Well, then, um, I think now that's next is the um, village here, which. What was the name of the demons again? Let me go back to the uh, Crimson f Jungle for a second. Ah, the Swine Beasts. Could be where the swine beast resides, maybe. Or it could be a completely different demon entirely. We'll see about that soon enough. Now, I guess these bones here are behind that. Yeah, they are behind that. Well, that's fine. Bones. Bones here are mostly just uh, decoration. The big bones of demons jabbed into the soil around these particular camps, acting as, like, deterrence for uh, certain things. Alright, is it going to be made out of the inner tree, it seems? Yeah, the inner tree seems to be uh, this kind of red. Is this the red we want? Yeah, I guess. We'll go on ahead and make it look more like an actual um, wood 
texture once we're in the shading and texturing process. But right now, uh, I guess they would mostly make it out of leaves, wouldn't they? So I'll have uh, these two colors here. This for the bottom portion. This for that. I guess I won't have it set like that entirely. Yeah, I guess what I could have it set up as is a... Um, unless I want that to be bark. Could be bark. They know how to stretch out the tree wood and we could have that be bark instead. But we'll have the inner tree for the inside area. So hut number one. Let me move some stuff around and rename some stuff. Your number two now. Number three. And number four. There we go. So that means you need to not be that, but rather the same colors as the trees over here. There we go. Well, okay, that makes sense. And I'll have the textures match to this. Whatever demon is capable of creating such uh, not only modern, but compared to the demon realm, modern-esque levels of um, structure. I guess this would be more like... Whoops. Uh, this would be more like a village? No, village. Oh, what's the one I'm looking for? Caveman era? Maybe? Uh, possibly. I don't know. But they are making some form of structures, even if it is like early man-type structures. That's the word. Or yes, that'd be the word I'm looking for. Yeah, actually, I guess what I could do... Oh, wait, no. This is the one that has that. So what I could do is this. There's no reason to... I mean, yeah, I guess there's a reason to fill that in so that we have like a line of some form. They got their hut made out of trees. Made out of trees, they do. Big old trees over here, man. I'll make sure I make that darker. Uh, I guess I could delete some of this off the side. There we go. Alright, hut one B. Go on here and get your leaves. Or one D, I should say, not B. No, I'm going ahead and put them their leaves in, and then we'll talk about good old fashioned leaves on top of hut. Leaves on job of hut. The tree now, job of hut now. Tree got leaves and skins now bark. Yep, I turn into a tree now. I turn my slug into a tree. Good, great, fantastic. String. What kind of string should this make? I'm going to save this Crimson Jungle Swatch, and I'm going to load up another swatch. Spikeling, mayhaps? Yeah, sure, why not? We can have them using spikeling webs, or well, not webs. Also, that's too thick. That's better. Oh yeah, webs. Uh, wait, no, that's, that's burn. You need to go back to brush. There we go. We can have them utilize the spikelings, webs, or the silk web, whatever, as a means to be able to hang up some stuff like bones, for instance. Good old bones. I'll go back to the landscape. There we go. Um, okay, good, great. Um, actually, I'm going to shade, at least shade the things that need to be shaded in first. And then we'll do the, what do you call it? I, I keep forgetting that. It's better to just shade it all in first. And then we do all the decorations and stuff like that. How long have we been at this so far? Almost an hour. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Could be better. Um, I guess I could darken the grass over here a tiny bit. 1B. What the hell? That's weird. Uh, where, where are you? Where are you? You did the dirt? Maybe you are the dirt. No, but some of the dirt is shown, and I should try to do a little bit more with it. 
And then there's grass 1C, how that cover most of this. It's hard to do this when you have so many of these grass textures in different areas. But it makes sense, considering what we have to work with here. So far, it looks a hell of a lot better than the original. Which is not really saying much, because the original still looked pretty good for the time it was made. Although I guess it was a bit darker. And we're going to try to make it a little bit lighter for our sake. Plus, it isn't even finished yet. But the finished product is the thumbnail, so, you know, you already know what it's going to look like. The thumbnail essentially spoils the drawing for you. It's just there mainly as a means to like be like, Oh, hey! This drawing, I want to see how some of it was made. Obviously, I'm not going to just make videos of the entire drawing. There are some more time episodes where I'll do that. Those that only like, really like will, are going to take like a couple or a few hours. But something that, like this that's going to require more hours of work to get done with. Yeah, it's a completely different beast than those particular types of drawings that are a little bit easier to get done with. And when I say easier, I mean it's not that complex. Outside of the background here and putting in a whole bunch of different stuff here, which, by the way, I'm going to have to look back at the few drawings. Try to figure out uh, what new things I put in, like that tree fungus. Let me see for a second, actually. That's the hut. Yeah, the annoying one. Tree fog, nest. Yeah, tree fungus. I'm also gonna have to look back and see what I used for that one, brush wise. But it's uh, fine for now. It's fine for now because there's some. Um, there's still a decent amount of. Uh, stuff that I want to do to this outside of just like putting in the things that I already planned on putting on in. So for now, let's just work on the shading. Yeah, I made this blood slightly more opaque <clears throat> just for the sake of being able to see whatever could be down here. Even if it makes no sense because blood is not supposed to be Opaque, it's just a means to be able to see what's there, you know? Alright, here's a cliff. Oh yeah, I was supposed to talk to y'all about the show that I had been watching. I forgot about that. Uh, we were on, like, what, episode... We just finished episode 18? Yeah, we're on episode 19 soon. And you see this old guy who we're supposed to hate for obvious reasons. Call, pull out a freaking sick guitar. Man, I don't think you don't deserve that guitar, man. You dick. Why are you a dick and you got a cool weapon? Freaking dick. Oh well, maybe he'll have a change of heart. Who knows? Unlikely, given the certain, certain circumstances that is going on here. Try not to spoil it too much for y'all right now. So we only got like um, one season. So I think I think once this arc is finished, that's it. At least for HBO Max, I think it might be on Crunchyroll. Maybe maybe the second season isn't out yet. Maybe I don't know. But I do know that um, there is definitely a couple of characters that I can draw. Actually, a few. I forgot that blonde hair witch girl is actually 18 according to the wiki, so you know, there's there's a character we can go on ahead and draw whenever. Well, not whenever, there's still a whole bunch of other things that I've got to do, so I don't exactly have the time or the space. Well, it's just, I have the time, I don't have the space to be able to draw it, is the thing. But rest assured, witch girl will get her come up, it's because one won't as well as the one who is most likely the least focused on in the you know, fetish community. I forgot what her name was. <laughs> I have it written down over again, Shoko Leary. That, you know, that girl with the 
I don't know if that's makeup under her eye, like that part there. Why not? Interesting looking character. And I don't see any art of her in Deviant Art, so whenever the time comes, I'm going to think about and do something with her at some point. So we'll see what occurs. As it stands right now, my schedule is booked. I've got a lot of stuff booked. I can't accept any requests because I got so much stuff booked. There's always something to draw. There's always something to draw. In my department, there's always something to draw. Animals, you think, oh, I'm gonna run out of animals because I'm drawing repeats now. But there's some interesting stuff that I can do with the animals that I should be doing more of because, you know, we got that holy shrimp drawing. Then there was another one. I forgot which one was it. The goat in a moat. That one. Always something there to draw, too. And here I am thinking others was going to be rather lacking for a few obvious reasons. But no. Weapons. Gun designs and sword designs, as well as accessories and stuff like that. Especially since now Chrome Wars and Elementals Reborn has taken over a large majority of the other folder. So there's always something to draw there, design-wise. Even if I don't have a design in mind, I'm like, alright, today I'm going to draw this. Say, a pistol. I have no design in mind, so I'm just going to go with whatever uh, flows. Go with the boat. Flow with the boat. Even if it doesn't look as good as, you know, per most professional designs, it still looks good to me. And I like the way it looks still, so why the hell not? Yeah, I usually am a person who just sticks with the design and be like, yeah, that's good design. No need to rework that constantly and all over and over and over and over again. That's good design. We stick with that. If you're going to go for a design, you go all out on it and try to like improvise as best as you can and you get yourself a good design. You're like, hmm, I'm not sure about that piece. I'll switch that out in the middle of the drawing. Not after the drawing is finished. Once a piece is finished, that's it. It's finished. Work on the next one. A lot of people over here need to, like, freaking pinpoint what they want to do and boom, get it done with. Mostly talking about, like, developers and stuff like that. Be a good idea to want to have like an idea of what you are planning on doing and going into uh, a design. Like you, you don't have to have the design immediately right off the bat off the top of your head. No, you can just go on ahead and uh, just get your design going, rolling, and go with the flow. Of course, I assume that most companies aren't, like, in that particular mindset, most game development studios. But you know how I go. Well, you don't know how I go yet, because you don't really see... Well, I guess, technically, yeah. The project I was working on in Dreams Long Ago before it came to a screeching halt, um, Space Blasters, you saw me design some ships and just going with the flow. Some ship designs didn't make any sense, but in the distance, it still looked pretty good. Not here for full-on professionalism. If I think it looks good, I think it looks good, even if it is like a, a design mess. But aside from that, um, there's still other things that I can do to showcase my... Uh, well, outside of uh, Photoshop, of course. Other things I can do to um, go on ahead and um, showcase my one-and-done design skill. Which is not really a skill, but more so just the... Uh, it's good. No need to work hours on that. If I don't see any more improvements needed, then that's it. That's the best I can do at the current moment. For this one, I'm going to try to add in a lot more decor and decoration and foliage and stuff like that. Mainly you know, because this is one of those, what do you call it? It's not a case of just um, put it in and work on it later for this one. It's a case of get about all you got. And go with the flow as per usual. Not that difficult. I can understand why some people would have um, 
an artist block. But me, I got too many ideas. It's a case of which one do I want to draw first? This or that? I'm sure some people are probably jealous with my ability to just crank out multiple drawings every now and again. Which would make sense because... Have you seen the amount of stuff I've been posting on DeviantArt? Two drawings a week so far right now because we are sticking the course steadily. Stop it! We're steadily sticking the course and going into the big drawing being posted either late June, the last week of June, or the week between, or not June, the big drawing being posted somewhere in the last week of July, and then the week transfer of July and August. That's occurring in, I guess, what would technically be considered the sixth week of July. <coughs> 31st being on a Sunday, and then August come through, does its thing. Stop it. Haven't you been a pest enough lately, cat? Um, but yes, artist block. Doesn't really affect me that much with the amount of drawing ideas that I have in mind. I guess it might affect people more if they're drawing just the same thing over and over again. Just doing the same old, same old. I can see why... S no, no. I don't think... It, it depends. Some fetish artists out there... Like, you got like a whole bunch of characters to choose from. And when it comes to like drawing the same thing over and over again, but I can understand why they would get burnout, because it's just the same thing. That's the only reason why we really haven't been experiencing burnout that much because I've been working on so many universes and not just one singular universe. It's always something to look forward to and something to talk about and work to make time go by faster. I think that's mainly the major reason why I'm not really experiencing burnout. Something to get through the frickin' workday quicker so I can get the hell out of there and into somewhere more preferable, like... On this computer, drawing, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. There's a few things that I haven't really suffered a whole bunch, a whole lot, lately. And it's still going strong, because there's a lot to do. Of course, there's still some things that I am pining for, that I am unable to get currently, not due to my situation at hand. I don't think you all know what that means. Very freaking busy. Doing the one thing that I prefer to do, and being forced to do something I don't want to do, i.e. work. Really time to converse and get a little fully Kelly in, you know what I mean? But yeah. That's the one thing that I am yearning for, but can easily put that to the side. <laughs> it's a little bit of a... T w w how is it? T... 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 M... Too much info... Yeah, TMI? A little bit of too much TMI on there, but I don't think we'll talk about no masturbation. Never been so good. <laughs> but, okay, the... Become <laughs> a more serious term... I do a hell of a lot more than just the usual motions. Kinks are involved, even if it is just me. And it really, it really does do it. Really does do the trick. Because I can't even do it the normal way. I gotta involve a kink in some way, shape, or form. Multiple kinks at that. So if you're ever getting bored of your... These videos aren't meant for anybody under 18 anyways, despite the fact that it's literally just me drawing. So, if you're literally getting bored of the uh, same old, same old in the you know, wanking department, add some kinks to it. Or something. I don't know. The peg yours. <laughs> Maybe try to get more flexible legs so you can, you know... <laughs> Put your fur foot fetishes out there, you know, the dang old get get your legs reaching up to your face. 
You say, see, I would do it, but that's too hard for you to. And also, that should be saved for other things, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. No, I don't think I'm not making it only fans. I'm just making it a little joke. But if I were to make it, it would be all fetish related. No balls. <laughs> no, wait. No quills. No pillow. No balls or two balls in a bong. Then we'll... Honestly, I'm pretty sure that would all just be feet pics. But who would want to see that? Even if I were to... Alright, oh, that's... Hold on a second. Let me open that up. F1. Uh, uh, I knew it. Go back to here. Alright, computer muted. Even the computer's trying to say, Stop! Stop! My innocent ears! No, but I don't, know. I don't see a reason in doing that right now. Besides, the only thing that would really attract is a bunch of gay guys. And I ain't into that. Oh, you're not twinky enough. There's <laughs> a, a very funny phase, a, a phrase I was thinking about when I'm talking, like, in my head, talking about some guy, but like, hey, you think I'm... Because, like I said before, with the... Uh, uh, a sulfo and most of the anime traps. And this guy could be here like, hey, bar around, I think I'm okay. And I'd be like, no, oh, no, you're, you're not, you're not twinky enough for me. You're not my type. You're not twinky enough. Twinky, <laughs> twinky enough. <laughs> no, it's, it's gotta be more like traps, you know? Or at least Borlines looks like he came out of the womb as a girl or something like that. Which is very rare occasions. I will always prefer women, but, um, you know, it's good to explore certain avenues if you, if you feel an arise, go on ahead and do it, Just don't care what anybody else says. Of course, it still doesn't really matter. You can tell by my DeviantArt page that I am still heavily into women. So, um, yes. As I said, um, no, no real reason to make an OnlyFans. At least right now, it's not on the table. Not until I know that there's at least an audience of women who are into that stuff, which is unlikely. And not unless I can get to a certain point where I'll be like, I'm gonna dress up as... And go ahead and drag over here, dress up as a goth girl. I feel like I might have the ability to do that. Wax. Thankfully, I'm a masochist, so waxing isn't going to be an issue. There will probably be some girls out there that will be impressed at my ability to tank pain. I mean, I got a cut here that I felt like it went pretty deep. And I didn't feel anything. It was just irritation. I'd be like, you, you are, you're a piece of shit. I'm going to punch you. Now my now I just have a little uh, a tinge. Where most people will be like, oh, oh, like that. With me, I can just go on ahead and do this, and I feel nothing. My pain tolerance is quite, frankly, scary. When I was a kid, my body wasn't able to handle pain, but now... Well... I feel like I'd be able to tank a brick wall. Yes, a brick wall. Probably attributes to the lack of some intelligent speaking words on occasions, but you know, it's fine. We all gotta make sacrifices to be able to prevent getting knocked out in the back of the head. What can you do when people try to do cheap shit to you in a fight? Uh, but uh, yeah, it's insane my pain tolerance. So most girls would probably be impressed at my ability to take waxing. And actually, I, I, I haven't done it yet, but I have a funny feeling that I'd enjoy it too much. Oh, thank God, enjoy it a little too much. A lot, boy, ain't a lot. But yes, um, I feel like it's possible. I got hair long enough, I got these to actually pass. If I can just get rid of the stomach and wax some more of my body, I might be able to be very convincing. Of course, I'd still be going after other women. I'd still be interested in them instead. Just because I look like a girl don't mean I ain't into guys. 
like I said, you gotta be twinky enough for my tits. I'm trying to do Krunk's voice right now. Wait. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's Morbid Time. Oh, yes, of course. Right. Stained hands. Yeah. Oh, yes. You... No, no. You're not my type. Uh, you're not twinky enough. Imagine Krunk's just saying that. I don't know, which is hilarious. But anyways, um... Well, what led to this conversation again? I forgot. I forgot. We don't remember conversation. The punch to a head already made me forget conversation. Nah, nah, not just not paying attention to conversation at hand. No worries about my physical health. I'm fucking invincible! As head falls off of body. Let me give me a sad look, cat. What are you looking sad for? But, um... Crimson Jungle, hey everybody. Good old Crimson, everything Crimson, everything red. Well, not exactly red. Although I imagine if the demons, like, consume all the blood and visceral from the bones, they'd be able to get all the white coming off of there. Perhaps. Don't forget, this, the demon realm is a very scary place. It's not necessarily a place you want to go to. Unless you're in the dark beach, of course. Burp. Keep in mind one thing. The demon realm, 99% of its region, or regions, 99% of it, it's filled with death and destruction. Oh, Jesus Christ, the Mepsy. If you're going to be going into this place, you got to be ready to kill demons. And you got to be able to run from demons as well when you find out that there are certain demons you can't kill normally. This place isn't really a safe place. Well, even the, the dark beach can be very dangerous if you go into certain parts of it, i.e. the Envy Shallows. Which, of course, that makes sense. It's The Envy Shallows is like the mediator between the dark beach and the Blood Ocean. The Blood Ocean being very freaking dangerous. You remember the Blood Ocean, right? The Blood Ocean? What? Which one was it? Ah, this one? Yes, deep in the Blood Ocean, all the demons and stuff here. These little piranha-looking things, these, this shark, that giant centipede, this young child serpent, that thing. It makes sense that the Envy Shell would also have its fair share of demons that can't go on the Dark Beach. And it would make sense if the Dark Succubus were preventing them from going onto the beach, if, even if they could. Because that's essentially their domain. Along the shorelines is their domain. And they do whatever they want. They'll find your kink easy enough and use all of it to their ex uh, disposal. Even if you try to deny it so. That's your kink that they're using. So don't try to deny it. Enjoy it. Especially since that's probably the only tale you might ever get. If you're someone who is that, well, I guess it depends, because there are other people who are like that as well. We're reading on Twitter about some guy saying, being pegged is gay. Even though if you're getting pegged by a woman, that's still gay? Well then, so be it. I'll be by for the sake of that. I mean, why not? Having a girl just take advantage of every single hole. <laughs> Of course, um, problem is trying to find a girl who's into that kind of stuff. Even so, that wouldn't really be my first option. My first option would be tickle fetish stuff. Or foot fetish. Depends, really. Either of the two. But if I find a girl who's kinky enough, then sure, let's go all out. Overstimulate. Combine all the fetishes. My body, is, my body and mind isn't going to handle it. But by God, is it going to try. Well, body might be able to handle it. My mind might not. Unlike Zap Brannigan, 
My body is not squishy. Bruceable. I can take the punishment. I'll take this death by snoo snoo any day. <laughs> Ugh. He's hilarious. Do 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 do. Meow. Cat's just sitting there closing her eyes. Well, good. Stay asleep. It's like she's sitting and sleeping at the same time. Huh, <sighs> so dumb, I'm tired. But we're making good progress here. I don't know why I'm tired. I think I got around seven hours worth of sleep. Hard to say, really. Now I, now I gotta know that uh, paddle. Now I, now I understand why people call her Peggy. Friggin' Hank's face. I just like the idea of some men out there who are just like, Oh God, no! No, I don't want that! That's gay as hell! And I'd be like, Ooh, kinky! Oh well, yeah, so I'm going ahead and use a hot car voice and try to incite some form of um, a sexual intention. You know? I mean, I can get her voice a little bit good, but it's not as good as it could possibly be. I even sound close to Paradon on occasions, but nope, not nervy enough. But yes, it's just hilarious to think that some men are like that. There's a girl who will have sex with you. And do anything you want her to do. Anything. But you have to let her peg you first. Would you do it? That's the question. Would you do it? Now you see, you see, Jimmy, I'm the kind of man who enjoys most physical things done to me. I don't like the bodily fluids, but if there's spanking or other insertion involved by uh, another woman, you know what, Jimbo? Sometimes we all make mistakes in the heat of the moment, but um, the most important thing is that uh, you don't regret those mistakes. And learn that sometimes those mistakes could be good mistakes, you know? Jimmy. Jim James. So let me tell you a little something about uh, rockets. They're big boy things. So <laughs> you can't just go flopping around. <laughs> Giant big things. Because that's what rockets are. Rockets are giant things. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really struggling trying to hang on to Hugh Neutron's voice. I can get Hugh Neutron's voice close, but I can't stick to it for a life. But, um, yes, of course. I'm good old-fashioned extra. Now, I need to close this for a quick second and go to a previous one I've done in the Crimson Jungle. What album was it? Okay, there's Malthorus. That was the last one I drew in the Crimson Jungle. Was it album 47? Wait a minute. Album 47 is when I did the Blood Peaks? We're only like four albums into this? Huh, interesting. Uh, okay, here's the Splicer. Oh, that's... Okay, never mind. I thought it was something else. But I will add another thing. Like I said, this is meant to be a thing to add more things to. Okay, some rocks and bushes. Some bushes with that particular look. Okay, I see. That's easy enough to remember. Um, okay, hold on. I guess I can actually open up the, uh, the folder to show you. These things is a thing that I'm looking at. I'm thinking it's something else, but it's not. Tree fungus. Going off of a couple, actually. Whoops. So, let's add in these tree funguses, shall we? Okay, I have the other thing open, but that's fine. I have a vague remem uh, remembrance memory of what it is I am supposed to be doing here. Bring that down. Oh, yeah. I think the one important thing to have when you're on the internet is no shame. Or just in general, no shame. People going over here saying, Oh, you're mean, or 
or something like, uh, you have no shame drawing this smut. I mean, like, son, the one thing I learned about my time on the internet is that you need to have no shame to be able to survive in this place and to not give any attention to the haters. Ignore anybody who's hating you. If they're getting valid criticisms, try to figure out um, how to incorporate those criticisms, criticisms into your work. But if the criticism isn't necessarily going to help you improve, or if it's something that you know that you got to improve upon and are steadily working on it, well, you know, if it's, oh, if, it, if it's that and you tell them, oh, yes, I have been trying to work on doing that. It's a little bit difficult, but I'm getting the hang of it. But if they're just criticizing it and being dicks about it who aren't actually providing good, helpful criticism and hints, then just don't answer it. I have a few hate comments over here. One, f well, one is just one guy who's typing, What the fuck? In a very uh, old drawing I did of uh, some guy by the name of Adam. Which, admittedly, this was a long time ago. I, mean, I could probably show you it. Was it album 7? It was album 7! This is an old ass drawing. Makes sense. My skills back then wasn't that good. This is Adam. Not, I couldn't really draw him as well as I can now. And it, even though it's going to be animated, it still wouldn't look better than that. So I can understand that. But he did provide some good hate content for a lot of other works from all of his comments. So that was an interesting read. Seeing him spread his troll around. But he's gone. He's no longer on... Well, his account is still there, but he's no longer active anymore. A shame, really. A real shame. And then there was somebody... The next two drawings is mature drawing, so I can't show you. But then there was somebody talking about, uh, you know, something with Peach and all these ants, which makes sense. I'm not really too into those tiny bugs, you know, tickling you kind of instance, like this one person is... I mean, I can get it for, like, some circumstances. I, I feel like maybe I'd be into doing that, like, just once, but not, like, a regular thing. Although, I'm an insect killer, so I would probably just kill them. You know me and the cat, and the previous cat before me, we're insect killers. We kill all insects. Well, maybe not praying mantises. Those things are cool. So long as they're not trying to cause problems. Well, why the hell would they enter this domain? Especially with the stench of death being so high. No, but, uh... Yeah, it, it makes sense. I didn't really give any comments to that, though. There's not much I can say. They didn't like it? They didn't like it. What can I do about it? There are some people who did like it. Even though, eh. Like I said before, I'm not too into that. But I can draw it every now and again. Not like a whole bunch. Not like a lot. Just every now and again. I do have one gadget idea with Luna, but I'm saving that for some spider-related character. Maybe Muffet? I think that's what her name is, from Undertale? Maybe. Mabus. Possibly. Most likely. Potentially. Then I think about doing Caddy and Bratty first. I have a very specific drawing idea in mind with Luna going after Caddy, Bratty, and May and B. Because, uh, cat and crocodile combo. Oh. Hold on. Um. Is Bratty a crocodile or alligator? Uh, alligator. Okay, is... How are spell name? A E B? Mm, crocodile. Okay, crocodile. Well, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Croc at. Crocagator. <laughs> yes. Cat. Two cat girls and two crocagators. Right, of course. Why not? You can go on ahead and do that drawing. I'll be doing it with my own character. Whenever the time comes, whenever that comes, I don't know when then it's going to come. Um, fungus. Yes, of course. And 
And, uh, fun oh crap, it's fine. Fungus 1B. But, um, you know, good to want to, like, get those ideas in mind. Always good to want to get them their ideas in mind, because, you know what? It makes it so that we keep things nice and fresh. I had another idea to do <coughs> something similar, in a similar vein with another set of characters. You know Blair from Soul Eaters and that one mouse girl, who I can't remember her name. Mouse girl, when all four of her counterparts combine and turn into the, um, the hot big boob mouse girl trying to compare herself with, um, Blair over here. Although, I can't quite remember. I don't remember if those two were actual mouses, or if they were just humanoid mouse looking, I guess you would probably call them nymphs in their original form. Combine and turn into a uh, top chick. Well, there was five of them, but one of them died, so that means the elder form can never be reached anymore. Which I am curious to see what the elder form could have been, or if it actually had any power to it. You know what it is with old people in anime? They're usually the most strongest freaking character in the entire show, apparently. I mean, if any of you all watched Hunter x Hunter, yeah, you would understand that. That's for certain. Strong as hell and resilient. And you know, a freaking suicide mission over here. Which actually worked. Surprisingly enough, it actually worked. It was slow and steady. But it actually did manage to kill off three of the main baddies of the of an arc. The other one, poor cat girl thing, who doesn't actually have a gender, was just Johnny Bravoed by Gon. Which, you know, obviously with the Pito's fetish story, I mean, you see how much we have left. And I have said before in the past, and I think past drawings, that I do plan on doing like several seasons worth, and a spin-off. We know that we're going to be bringing Pito back to life. Obviously. And it's going to be very cool to see them in completely different clothing in the next season. The entirety of the first season consists... Like... It consists as soon as Pito was made in the first fight, which is after the first fight with Kite... And then going throughout the entirety of the Chimera Ant arc until the end, where it is, it happens after the, well, not after, some, sometime after the entire palace was cleared out. A little bit before the, uh, what do you call it, arc. Well, a lot of Pito changes throughout the entirety of the season. I'm still going to keep the general timeline the same. The only major difference here is Pito gets brought back to life by the help of a little certain someone. And then they go on ahead and get, not really the revenge. I like to think that Pito should be going out there under the, the guise of a revenge. But it's really just to feel their fetish. Their newly found fetish thanks to Maki. As well as also go after Maki and thank her personally for the uh, new uh, interest that they got. I mean, a large majority of the Chimera Ants are dead, and the ones that aren't dead are now registered as Magic Beasts. I really feel like the only other characters that Pito would really be able to, like... Actually, no, that's spoiler. Unless I said it already. Well, if I didn't say it, it's spoilers, and I will keep that a secret until we get to the point. But I have a really cute relationship dynamic going on in a Season 4. I probably already said it, but, you know, there's a ton of video and you're not going to look through all those hours, huh? 
Ah, oh uh, yes, the good thing about having little to no subscribers is the fact that I can relay information, spoiler-like information, and we're not going to have any eyes on them until way later down the line. And by the time we actually do get eyes on it, chances are the entire series is already out and done and viewable by everybody. And then I'll be like, oh, I could have seen the spoilers for this long ago. If only I had looked through all of those videos. If only I had tried harder. Ah, <laughs> uh, the perks of not being a famous YouTuber yet. Or at all. Like I said, I don't know what the cards are like on the table right now. And I suck at luck. So I'm just getting the worst hand possible. But you know what? That's okay, because I'm just going to keep at it. I'm going to keep at it. Nobody said Quinn got you anywhere. Or nobody said uh, being persistent. Uh, or, uh, okay, I don't know where the hell I'm going with this phrase. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to keep at this for as long as I possibly can. For as much as I possibly can. And hopefully, one day, maybe... I'll be able to make money off of this. Unlikely at the moment. But it's a chance. You won't know unless you try. We're living off of words by Markiplier over here. You won't know unless you try. I'm not trying to replicate his voice. I'm trying to do a different voice. I probably could replicate his voice. It'd probably be like Crunk, right? You know, like, hello, hello, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Hello, everybody. My name is Crunk. Welcome back to the Emperor's New Grove. Today I'm going to go on ahead and help Cusco get laid. Oh, uh, between you and me, uh, Cusco's a little interested in pay. I know, strange, right? But, uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to judge a man for his interest. <laughs> now I'm losing Crunk's voice. Oh, uh, <laughs> or what was it? Hey, nice cock. That's what it was. That's right. I didn't get close to that particular voice, Cusco, or Cusco, Crunk, or Joe Swanson, or maybe even Brock Sanson. Brock Sanson has a very specific kind of tone that I don't really think I can match, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'll do what I can, and if I can't do it, well, I'll just keep doing it until I can do it. You know the whole fake, saying fake it till you make it? Well, son, that's what I'm attempting to do in multiple departments. Making it look a little bit professional, even if it's not really professional. Have I ever been professional? Even at work, I'm not professional. I don't really care as so long as you do a good job and don't just, like, hurt anybody or destroy equipment. Well, things have changed in this facility. I don't know what the hell they're going to be like now that a lot of stuff has changed. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, there we go. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't really like working. Eh, the same old shit every day. Now YouTube, yeah. Yeah, YouTube is a hell of a lot better. We go on ahead and make a whole bunch of stuff, do whatever I like, and if we're actually making a decent amount of views and contents, you know, well, yeah, sure, why not? I keep losing his voice. I think part of it is because I'm not in the right tone. Right now, I'm in the Haruka tone. I'm able to get that a little bit better. But that tone isn't enough to help me at Joe Swanson or Crunk or whatever the hell you want to see it as, as full potential. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, I'm living by Mark's words. And do it the best I can. I'm not able to really edit right now anyways. Nor would I be able to hire an editor. So making these live stream-esque videos is a really good compromise. Even if that means I'm not making a crap ton of views, it's fine. I mean, I'm not going to get a crap ton of views anyway. I just started out. And who knows, by the time we get to a significant number, we might be over a thousand videos. And there'll be thousands, more than a thousand hours of content. I mean, okay, how many hours of content would that be, actually? Actually, I am curious. 
How many hours of content do I have currently? Let me look at YouTube for a second. I don't think I can look at all of the hours combined in a playlist, but I'm going to try. Are you going to tell me the hours? No, you're only telling me the videos. Is there no way I can, like, calculate how many hours I have here without having to actually do the math in my head? Uh, whatever, it's fine. It don't matter. All that matters is that we keep on working on making more videos. Even if it makes no views whatsoever, we'll just keep doing it. Fake it till we make it. And if we don't make it, then you know what? There'll be hours worth of content, and there'll be even more hours worth of content. Most people will be discouraged about the lack of views or uh, what do you call it that they've got. Some people might even say to give up. But not me. I want to keep going at it. And if you try that, I'll go off a of fuck you energy and be like, no, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, you can keep hating. Keep on hating. And do all, do what you want. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, you're supposed to be up here, actually. We're at a pretty healthy amount of series on the channel, too, without, like, a whole bunch of stuff kind of getting in the way. I was thinking about downloading a PS2 ROM and getting my hands on Pac-Man World 2 and making that as a series. It's been a while since I've played that game, and I kind of want to play it again. Why not? I like that game, and I feel like I, you know, would probably be better at it. I remember so many of it being a pain in the ass, though, like the ice one. I mean, the only main, major problem with the Snow Mountain was, like, the skate level. The skate level was a pain in the ass, but that's primarily because I think if you were to miss something, you would have to kill yourself. And, uh, if I remember correctly, lives in that game weren't that easy to come across, maybe? I don't know. It, like I said, it's been a while since I played it. I'm looking at what they're doing currently with Pac-Man right now. <laughs> Dear God! Look at how the mask got to... Oh, wait. <clears throat> Look at how they massacred, massacred my boy. Oh, oh. I can't do his scream. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do these, trying to do these sound bites. Jesus Christ, it's such a pain in the ass. But yeah, they, they, I don't know what they did to Pac-Man over here. And then we got this freaking, wait, is that 3A? Ah, whatever. 3B then. And they got this freaking new Pac-Man look, which is just weird. Why, why did you have to change the look? Why? For what reason? To change things up a bit? Is that your only reason? <sighs> I don't understand. I just don't understand. But at least they got a somewhat uh, adorable character. The old goth pat girl. Don't know if there's any ages in this particular series, as there isn't really any in the original Pac-Man. Without any, like, showing you certain, like... Because, yeah, the original Pac-Man World 2, and I think that was really the only one, really just showed you, like, all the characters and, like... Their ages really showed. I remember some pack, small pack thing with like a propeller hat to tell you that this is a kid. And there was a pack baby. And there was an elderly pack person as well. I don't remember. It's, it's been a while. Now the universe has expanded and then we have this weird multiverse with these weird looking characters that derive far from the Pac-Man style. At least, what was her name again? Solyndria or something like that? At least she relatively matches the theme of Pac-Man. But Jesus Christ, look at Pac-Man's eyes. Now there's that meme of him and, and the nerd, what do you call it? That, that's just like, that's weird, but I guess the whole nerd meme is kind of like, you know, it's, it's popular right now, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, now that's, that's like that. But what else? We'll go back to the old days, the good old days, where 
I'm pretty sure to this day standard Pac-Man World 2 would be a pain in the freaking ass still. And I got 100% on that too. I remember playing Pac-Mania Pac or whatever it was called on that little arcade museum thing in the game. Got pretty far on that one, being able to jump over many of the ghosts. Oh, I do vaguely remember there being a ghost that jumps over you, and that was a bit of annoying. It's been so long. I don't know what is going on with Pac-Man. It doesn't even seem like there's been much of a game made of it so far. It seems like they want to try to forget the trilogy era. I mean, one, when I was, I, I, I remember vaguely in one that there was this, like, pyramid boss that I was not, never able to pass when I was a kid. And I think two was the only Pac-Man game I've ever fully 100%ed. Because I did try three out, but something, I, I have some vague broken memories of that game where there was like, there was like, there was like some cheat system that allowed you to like go through a like level select or something like that. I don't know why. Was that Game Shark? No, that couldn't have been at that time. I think that was, I think that was way after that was even a thing. It's weird, really. Oh well, it doesn't exactly matter right now. I guess what does matter is, um, potentially making a new series. Potentially. I mean, it's a full-on gaming series. I guess Sonic Adventures 2 is also gaming. Because right now... What? Oh yes, the episode where Eggman was a complete and utter annoyance to beat in that freaking boss fight. That's right, that's the episode that came out. Ugh, man. Go give that a watch. That was a pain. On many fronts. I, if I remember correctly, that was like, what, Cosmic Wall that we were on or something? Crazy Gadget? Crazy Gadget, that would, that's what it was called. No, I think Cosmic Wall, if I remember correctly, was Eggman's level, and we dominated that one. Eggman redeemed himself. A little too much, if you ask me. <sighs> but anyways... Yeah. No, yeah, that happened. And if you haven't noticed... If you could stomach past that thing, we're going to be going emblem hunting throughout the uh, entirety of the series after the story mode is done. So yeah, emblem hunting and still chow raising. Of course, we're still going to be raising our chow. Why not? I mean, that's mainly the entire point of the Sonic Adventure series is to just raise chow. Try to get Chaos Chows if we can. And then try to get A rank, which is going to be a huge pain in a million balls. It's a good thing I'm a masochist and getting hit in the ball doesn't phase me as much as most men. Trust me, I've gotten hit in balls sometimes. And I don't reel in pain. It's just a slight tinge and I'm like, alright, it's fine, everything is normal now. But now I got this slight tinge that's kind of there and it's annoying. Yeah, I know. Weird, right? Pain receptors don't act the same way as most. I remember long ago in... I think it was high school? And there was some weird dance thing these guys were doing, and then I just, for some reason, decided to punch them in the balls. And I didn't feel like I hit that hard. Like, um... Okay, yeah, like, I, I, I can't uh, do it now because right now I'm when you call here, and then I, I shouldn't be trying to hit myself in a ball on video here because, you know, you don't know how YouTube's going to react. They're like, oh, oh no, 18 plus, he's inducing cock and ball torture even though it's off camera. No, it's more, most likely balls, no cocks, but you get what I mean. It, was, it wasn't even that big of a punch either. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe my pain, maybe I've just become so numb to life that pain doesn't phase me as much anymore. <laughs> and I'm depressed and miserable. And now it's to a point where pain is just like a minor inconvenience and I'm just like, uh, whatever, I don't care anymore. God, 
I, I mean, yes, I am depressed for the freaking work that I'm forced to do, but again, I'm, I'm not that depressed. I would prefer to be doing anything other than what I'm currently doing in a job and making the same amount of money doing this instead. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... There's no way. There's no way. God dang it, who left the plate of onions here? I'm gonna kick whoever's ass who left these plate of onions here. Alright, anyways. Um... We're right, making good progress here. Got some bushes here and there. I can provide some more, sh like, trees and stuff in this area. But as it stands right now, I'm just working on the brush. How long have we been at this? Two hours almost. Jesus Christ, how two hours? I got something else in mind to place there, but for now... Oh yeah, anybody remember that We Happy Few craze in, in YouTube long ago? Remember that? Strange. Long ago, it was like this huge craze and then a lot of people dropped it. I played it. The whole game, too. Beat it as well. It was a strange, like, juxtaposition when we changed the story. Well, not changed the story. Shall we, like, okay, um, I guess spoilers for um, those who aren't going to, or who wants to play it, but aren't going to play it yet. Uh, if you beat Arthur's story, and you get, like, to the escape route, I think there's only one escape route if you go story mode. If you get to that point, um, oh wait, I should do this behind everything. Oh wait, I should do some bushes here, shouldn't I? Anyways, if you get to the point where you get to the end of Arthur's story, and you're about to get over to the bridge area, you switch to a different character. There's one character that I had was thinking about doing, like, art of. I forgot her name. But she is the love interest of Arthur. What the fuck was her name again? Hold on, I, I feel like there's an easy way to do this. We happy you too. What? Dude. What? No. There can't be a second one already. Hold on a second. T trailer? But. It. But. 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 What? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What? Also, is that a new character or is the same character? Uh, wait a minute. No, that's a different one. Oh, wait, that's a DLC. Wait, DLC? This game's been very old. Right, I forgot about that tidbit. The game is very old. Oh, okay, I'm uh, Ar uh, Arthur and... Ah, Sally, that's her name. Sally. It's easier to just look up the character you know and press N, because I'm sure a lot of people are shipping them, despite the fact that Arthur really doesn't deserve that kind of, um, what do you call it? But yeah, I was thinking about doing some art of a Sally. Why not? At some point. It was like this weird, like, underground area that I went in with these four women who are like, you know, that weird, crazy, zombie-esque kind of disease thing that occurs and only is, like, flaring up at night. Thinking something with that, you know. It obviously would be posted on DeviantArt, so it's no, you know, um, that, uh, or, uh, the, uh, 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 what, this is the ass, this is the, that, God, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, it's mostly just fetish-related stuff. And there was something with that, uh, that giant robot girl thing? You know, the, the thing with the TV head and the, the lady face? That thing with electricity? Because, you know, me and my morbid curiosity with electricity-based, um, things, as evident from the most recent mature drawing of this drawing at this time, at the time the Crimson Jungle was made, of course. 
so yeah, there, there was that. There was an idea there. I haven't got to it yet, obviously. I've got a lot of stuff on my plate right now. A whole lot of stuff. July and August is going to be quite busy. So, oh, and also the limitation periods already have their fan art drawings kind of planned out. So really there's no point right now. I'm going to look at the Stingling right now. Yeah, Stingling Nest. Right, I see. And then there's you. Oh, yes, that. Right. Of course. I didn't save the swatch for this one, though. So it might just look different here. Uh, plant? Kind of. Let me make this a hundred. There we go. But yeah, that was an interesting game, story-wise. Even though most of it was kind of like broken in certain aspects. There were many issues, unfortunately. Not really much you can do with a game like that. Developers, if it's like their first time doing a game like that, it's understandable that there would be a lot of issues. But I don't know who developed the game. <laughs> but it, it, it was good. I enjoyed it for what it was. Although the weird map changes... Yeah, that's what I was talking about, but I forgot to bring it up. The weird map changes when you complete a, um, a story with a character was a bit strange. I mean, I guess it makes sense because some of the characters start in different areas completely. If I had the same map with Sally as I had with Arthur, then that would probably be a little bit of a pain starting off. Even if I were to be given a certain amount of stuff. But still, as buggy as it was on occasions, it was still a pretty fun game. Pretty good. Just wish the... I just wish that they would have optimized it on console. But whatevs. <clears throat> Maybe I'll play it one day. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what's on the table. Yeah. <sighs> Before I know, it doesn't matter. We'll just go uh, focusing on our current series. Especially if I'm thinking about going back into game development and making that a series. I mean, it kind of jib with the kind of content that I've been making. Creating stuff and all that. Why not? Plant 1C, unless I call that 2. No, 1. Okay, good. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, let me close the Demon Realm notepad here, and we'll open up the weird stories. Um, we might just be at this for a while, so maybe, which one do we want to talk about? Do we want to talk about the Principal Ward story, or do we want to talk about Duplicant Barneys? Okay, I, I guess... Yeah, I guess we could talk about the Duplicant Barneys. Alright, so the Duplicant Barneys, right. So, let me set up the scene first and foremost. Oh, no, oh, I see. Okay, never mind. Uh, <clears throat> so the scene goes like this. You're playing as a Duplicant Barney on a planet that's full of bombs. You know, Barney rolls. <clears throat> I think there might be a single Fred Flintstone in there. For some reason, any duplicates when it comes to Barney's always consists as Barney being the only one there with multiple of him. There's usually only one Fred, and the only time there has been one Fred is like a Sedaddle of Rick situation, where it's like a Sedaddle of Fred Flintstones. And even then, that was only like one instance, which I might want to talk about at some point. As a matter of fact, I'll go on ahead and... Sedental of a Fred Flintstone attacked by the glitch. 
Fred. Yeah. So remember that weird pippy thing where Fred Flintstone died? <laughs> Fucking died. <laughs> um, that's what text this about all Freds, and the Freds were looking into that and uh, all that stuff. Oh, wait. Where am I? Ah, uh, here I am. Oh, I just can't see it because this is underneath all that, right? Okay, I see. Wait, actually, where the hell is this? Is this where I want to go? Wait a minute. Wait a dim a damn minute. Hold on. It, this makes no sense. Where is this grass? Why is this grass up? Oh, wait. Wait, no, that makes no sense still. How are you behind? What? No. How are you behind that? I don't get it. Okay, that's... I, I, hmm. Or is it because of that? No, it's, it's, it's fine. I'll just go ahead and do this. Anyways. The story. The scene. Setting up the scene. Yes, right, of course. There's a bunch of boring duplicates. You're playing as one of them. And, um... The world is coming to an end soon. An impeding meteor rain shower that's slowly making its way over to where all of the Barneys are. But none of the Barneys are real, well, like some of the Barneys aren't really too concerned about it. So you start off in this area right here and you gotta do a bunch of side quests and stuff like that. And you're on a time limit. Think of it like Majora's Max, except you have no restarts. So your Barney has to, like, complete a whole bunch of tasks, because there are certain tasks that give you a certain thing that allows for you to be able to save the world that you live on. And all the other Barneys who, for, s for some reason, just seem to be too stupid to really understand how any of this crap works. So you're going on ahead out into the world and doing all these little side quests. Because that's literally all it is. Just side quests in here. There's no main quest. You just got to complete all of these tasks these Barneys give you. And hopefully the parts I did give you are enough to save the world from the meteor shower. And there are multiple ways to go about doing this. Complete all the quests, you get the 100% ending so long as you can manage to put together everything in time. But there's a few things to take into consideration here, especially with certain quests that are a pain in the ass. Like there's this one stickler of a Barney where you have to like play music for him and you have to match the tune that of which he is giving you. So it's like a and there's no uh, there's no quick time what do you call it? There's none of that. You just gotta use your ears and figure out which note goes to which. And you have to do it succinct and in order. And you got a number of tries before the Barney refuses to do and to have anything to do with you. Annoying, right? Of course, you could just use a save state to go back to before that Barney uh, went on ahead and started to be a douchebag and shut you out and essentially just kill the entire planet as we know it. <clears throat> but, yeah, you have to, like, get multiple... It's, it's not even, like, a, a case of, like, you know, a few notes. It's, like, an entire freaking symphony of some song of some sorts. A hundred notes. And you gotta play it in order without screwing up whatsoever. Ever. <laughs> Something that I could never freaking do. <laughs> Ugh, Christ. You know how big of a pain that would be? That's a huge pain in the ass. But that would be probably the hardest side quest that you'd have to do. And it would be the most time consuming. So let's talk about the failure states that occur within this particular little game of ours. 
If you're unable to make any progress within this meteor shower stopping device, then the entire world gets pelted with meteors. And all the Barneys are there, just like, with their hands over their heads, trying to um, break the, the song the impacts of the meteorites to their heads via their arms. And they're all just getting pelted. They're just like doing this, getting pelted like that, looking down. And, um, one of the Barneys like, you know, I can't help but think we were missing something important. And then another Barney is like, Oh, you think? You think? As they just keel over and die Minecraft style. And it just keeps on going down, showering down until the meteors hit the core. If you don't do anything, the planet just explodes. I mean, all of the deaths really just results in the planet exploding. But, um, yeah. So that's like if you don't do any of the side quests and you don't get any, well, not really any of this, don't do any of the side. It's more like if you don't get the, the some stuff built to further progress a certain like stage of which of, that you have to go on ahead and, you know, build like the, the meteor shower stopping device. And a meteor shower lasts a while. Let's, let's say like an hour and you have to hold out for an hour. And it only takes this meteor shower, uninterrupted, five minutes to blow up the entire planet. Because this is what it's doing. Here's the planet, and the meteors are just all over the entire planet. Just going in and down. It's like all the meteors are somehow magnetized to the core, and are just raining down on a planet, trying to break enough holes into it to be able to reach the core and then blow up the planet. That's essentially what this is trying to do. So, aside from that, there's, of course, the ending where, I mean, you still die, but you do make some decent progress in trying to prolong your death, and you do get close. Of course, it doesn't matter, because you're dead, but, uh, like I said before, save states and all that. Or if you're in a certain point where you can't do anything in a save state, like, yeah, there, there would be, like, no checkpoint systems. You'd be given a save state that only you can activate. You can go through it the hardcore way with no save states, or you can go through it by making your own checkpoint system. There's no automatic checkpoints. You make the decisions. All right. Uh, sounds like the thing's done up there, so I'm going to pause and get some stuff done with Be right back. I have returned. Yet again. The stuff's in the dry right now, and I got myself a drink of milk because I was thirsty. No, I don't have a I, small glass, drank it up there, you know, nothing not special. So where were we? Ah, yes, the Barney story, of course. So if you're able to get enough of the equipment to be able to prevent the entire, well, no, not enough equipment. If you get enough equipment to at least prolong the planet's life, this is what happens. You go, you have like a little special secret base area once you get enough to build a, one type of equipment. And once you've done that, you have like a nice barrier core surrounding the entire planet as a means to be able to hopefully stop the meteors from doing any damage. Stop. So with that being said, um, enough damage that the meteors do to cause a huge hole. Would you stop it? Stop it! Stop! Stop! It. You do the meteors do enough fucking damage. Play with a toy. Only that. Let's play with a toy. I mean that man. That's what you want, right? Play with it, playing with the toy because you just want too much attention? Why do you want so much attention? Oh, she's going berserk. You probably can hear her skittering around on the floor. Trying to get her to wear herself down so that she does the thing. Oh, he got pelted. Don't you murf at me. 
Alright, hopefully that will be enough to stop you from doing your thing. Right, Cadillac? Now, Cat. Whenever she gets winded, she goes on ahead and scoffs. It's like you don't really have the best stamina. I don't understand it. She's been doing that ever since he was kittens, and you know the doctor said it's all right. So I guess the cat just don't have the stamina for it. You lack stamina, just like me. Although I guess they still push through the stamina. You just sit there and scoff because you can handle it. I. I can somehow, and look at me. Look at the size of you, and look at the size of me. Not size as in me being bigger. If I were the same size as you, my stamp, well, your speed would be off the charts, but your stamina would be lacking it exponentially. Let me scab at me. I'm scratching your chin, she that helps she distract you from your scoffing. Hmm. Whoops, where am I? Ah, yes, here I am. I guess I could delete- whoops. I guess I could delete some of the plants here, why not? Try to get a little bit of this cleaned up if I can. Just a tiny bit. There we go. But, uh, yeah. Bonnie's going ahead and get enough of, uh, an area. You know, covered up. And they're able to buy themselves some time. Question is, is it enough time? Well, the same death sequence happens, but in a completely different area. Where they ask themselves, I can't help but feel like something is missing. Something very important was missing. They say as they're getting pelted with meteorites. It's pretty funny. When you think about it, just seeing Barney getting pelted by Barney Rope being pelted by meteorites, but like a giant meteorite like this big hits his arm like this and just goes down, takes damage, flashes red, and after like a few meteors, <coughs> I don't even know if you can hear her meow there. She has the most pathetic. Meow, saddest meow I've ever heard. <laughs> I was so damn faint. Alright, uh, but uh, yes, Barney's uh, dying again, but this time they survived a little bit longer. It's just that the meteorite shield that they built wasn't strong enough. You gotta somehow manage to stop a crap ton of meteorites being dropped on your head. You blame them? And especially with one of the most important pieces of equipment being locked off by a freaking meticulous rhyming Barney? Or not rhyming Barney, rhythm music Barney? Who wants you to play a certain instrument perfectly? Insane. You gotta, like, get the... It's like a memory game that's too insane for people to go through. Even if you had, like, the combinations there, you have to play it in succession real steadily and have it play out the music without, like, missing a beat. That's a pain in the ass. A huge pain in the ass. But if you can manage it, and you can get everything there, well, you essentially win. Every single scenario I've had in my head came to just the Barney's constantly dying. I never gave them a win scenario. I've always just assumed that they would always just die. There's no way they'd be able to figure out a way to avoid it. They always be stuck in this vicious, gruesome cycle of constantly dying to meteorites landing on their heads. Never thought about giving them a wind condition because I didn't think it would have been possible. 
But you know what? That's fine. Some of these are like ancient thoughts that I've had long ago. I don't quite remember them very well. I do very remember very funny scenario. But man, I suck at improvising. Am I, would I even be able to like figure out a way to um, talk about it in full? No clue. I'm tired. I'm kind of exhausted. What are you looking at? Freaking cat over here, still scratching. Wonder if you could hear her meowing. You usually can hear her meowing. You can usually hear her doing that purr morph thing that I keep hearing in like the background of some videos sometimes. I mean, of course, I'm using the laptop's mic. That's why it sounds like this. I did my best to try to make it sound better via OBS. I don't know much about sound and audio stuff. Yeah, that's, that's not my expertise. But I did the best I could. <sighs> and that's all you can really hope for in these particular types of um, videos, is doing the best you can for what, what you've got. Apparently we're still struggling for money. Inflation shit's still a pain in the ass. We might be doing somewhat better now. Oh yeah, Harley, um, or Pitbull. Well, Pitbull, not little, but definitely little when I saw Boris and Charlie, I think the other one's name was. And cousin and her husband's dogs. Well, are they saying more parents' dogs? Because, well, I remember. I think Boris is his um, dog, and Charlie is uh, the parents. But those dogs are huge. Like, real freaking huge. Like, here's... here. Okay, so here's Harley's size, about circle-wise. Here's about Tia's size, if only smaller. Here's Boris. Just about, like, right here. Maybe even bigger than that. And I think Charlie's about the same size anyways. That's how big they are. Maybe not that big, maybe a tiny bit smaller, but they're definitely big. They are definitely ginormous dogs compared to my two pit bulls, who I think still despite their size, they'd still, I'm Harley at least, might actually fare a chance if they were to ever get into a fight, which hopefully not. Because I don't want to see harm come to any of them. Although, then again, I was playing with the two dogs in the old tug of war. Although, they weren't really that strong. Well, then again, I'm able to beat the dogs sometimes in tug of war. It, literally, tug of war with a pitfall is just a war of attrition. So long as you have the strength, you will be able to stay matched with the pit bull until they eventually let loose their grip. That's what it is. A war of attrition. I try to do it with Tia, but she just like mouths the toy and doesn't even try to freaking pull it. She just like does the, the thing. Harley, on the other hand, he will actually go on ahead and play tug of war. But, um, yeah, those dogs, not that strong. But then again, it's just a war of attrition. You just gotta like outsmart them. You gotta move the toy around their teeth and try to find like the weak spot and be able to pull away. It's a pain in the grip. I have soft hands. You can tell by my hands not being worker hands. Freaking dad over here with dang old worker hands calloused to the freaking bones. Uh, that doesn't make any sense, but you get what I mean. Nah, man, this is the kind of work that I'd rather do. Drawing. Creating worlds. Giving people an outlet to escape from the shitty world that we all live in currently. Why not? Let's have a nice outlet to enjoy our life by looking at other creations. Why the hell not? I mean, yeah, sure, I could talk about this, but my intelligence, not intelligence, 
I don't have intelligence. My... My perception. That's the word I'm looking for. My perception of the world has grown large enough to be able to, like, get an understanding of, like, you know, where my, um, depression and misery lies. I'm miserable working in this place, but I am happy creating. Create, and I'll be happy. Create these stories and these cool, interesting fetish scenarios, and I'll be happy. It's a simple procedure, right? Although, still, I feel like I do have depression. And I don't even think I'd be able to go to the doctors and frickin' look at that because and frickin' father's apparently hard, not a hardcore Republican, doesn't go on the QAnon side nonsense, definitely likes Trump. Me, personally, I don't really give a damn damn about politics. Politics is such a frickin' aneurysm-inducing experience. I don't... Like... Okay, like, let, let, let me uh, give you, a, like, a good, uh, a, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A good juxtaposition. Uh, Jordan, Captain Sparkles over here probably has politics, some politics in mind, but he chooses not to talk about it, and that's smart. Me? I don't, I take no fucking side. I take no side at all. It's just politics is not worth going through. The only side I take is the side of morality. Why does morality have to have freaking politics involved in it? The moral choice is freaking delayed because for some stupid reason, ooh, it's a political issue. Bro, it's morals. You're going to say, go ahead and say freaking one, I don't know, I'm going to talk about. Stands on multiple things that some people over here take. Guns and stuff like that. I understand limiting guns because there are a lot of insane people out there who don't know how to keep control of their insanity. I mean, yes, I do have some insanity, but at least I'm not going out there like the Joker causing problems. Everybody is miserable. We need to keep that thought in mind. Everyone is miserable. Going to a school and being a psychopath killing people isn't going to help anything. It's just going to make more people miserable who are already miserable. I'm not going to condone anything, but if you really want to make any freaking changes, you'd have to go after those in power who would have an armed, uh, armed army. That would be the only significant change you'd have. And even then, I feel like that would have more repercussions on the people who are miserable and will somehow have a domino effect that will fuck us all over more so than the person that you're affecting. The only way we can stop those people in power is to dethrone them by somebody who actually knows a thing or two about politics, who's younger, and who's actually out there for our health. Really just going out there and shooting people isn't the answer, apparently. We can't go about this borderland style. Now we gotta go about the smart. And I don't know what that is, Chief. There's a lot of politics involved in that, so I'll let those who actually know what they're talking about in politics do the thing. Don't get me wrong, I like guns and swords. Something about guns and swords are, like, very interesting to me. Got a nice good old sword character, nice, like, slice him up. Like how Raiden goes on ahead and cuts through mostly everything. And other characters like that cutting through mostly everything. And we got Borderlands with all them, their guns. There is an interesting guns. Just a nice shooting, kind of shooting at targets kind of feel there. However, there is some reason to wanting to at least keep it controlled. But I really don't know what to think about it. Look, I understand the checks that they have. But, um, when it comes to uh, politics and guns, I don't know about the politics of that. All I know is I like shooty shooty bang bang. My brain is small in caveman brain that likes to uh, shoot. You think I know a thing or two about politics? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. But yes, politics is kind of um, confusing. I've got my morals. And I've got my psycho. I mean, it's it's a it's like a certain um, a certain like what's what I'm looking for. 
the demon side in me, like, you know, the four personality I say, the demon side in me wants to see the bloodshed of all humanity. All the rage and anger placed within such a dangerous entity. I think that's really the only side there that has any form of, like, you know, attraction towards murder or shooting ones and zeros. Of course, I haven't gotten that part of that to that point of rage, and hopefully, I'll never will. Succubus side is a little bit more sadistic side, that of which you know puts many women in a certain scenario in drawings. Same can be said to the goth one, but for the victims. If anything, I'd say that the succubus imagines herself in the girl's position, who is the dominant one. While the goth personality puts herself in the position of the one being dominated. Now, the goth side, like I've said before, I would have no problem having taken over. Like I said earlier in the video, I am curious to see what the goth look, look like on me. And goth girl look. And you know what? If that were to ever occur, then the goth personality takes over. Then there's the emo side, who hasn't been coming out as much lately. Who's just depressed and, well, not depressed, but, like, sad, cries a lot, very, like, um, what do you call it? Got some, like, void thoughts of, like, death occurring to, like, loved ones, that of which makes the emo side depressed. And in juxtaposition, there's a freaking a demon side just, like, making me think, I could... There's many ways I can get away with killing this person. I'm like, no, stop it. Shut up. Stop. Get out of my head, demon. Get out of my head. 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 <laughs> I, can't, I can't do the, the what do you call it. Honestly, I was surprised that I actually enjoyed what was the uh, We Have A Few show. Not We Have A Few. Happy Smiling Friends. God, I got wee happy few in my brain. Smiling friends. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, the demons, Jim. Can't let the demons get to you. Gotta keep them demons back. Back, I say. But, of course, um, these personalities and whatnot, they make up who you are inside. And if you know them, if you know how they work, you can learn how to keep them at bay instead of letting them take over. Some people, they can't fight against their demons. They let the demons get the better of them. And look at what happens out in the world because of that. It's a shame, really. And some of these people were probably really good people inside. Just dealt the shitty hand dealing with a whole bunch of people just inciting the demon side to come out more. But what can you do? The world really seems to enjoy bullying a whole bunch of people for some reason. Innocent or unable to really like do anything about certain circumstances. Ugh. Kind of upsetting that we let it get that bad. I don't know if it's a, poli a politics thing or if like Republicans all, all think like, well, maybe old people, and maybe just old people, or it is all Republicans. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know shit about politics, nor do I even give a dim and damn. But it seems like most old people just don't seem to believe that mental health is a thing. Mm, dead bush. That's what it feels like. It's like they don't think that mental health is a thing. And then they go on ahead blaming some other thing when really... The issue here is the scenario that the person who had snapped mentally has went through some mental strains that were never looked into at all. And, of course, right, there are some people who are just, like, batshit insane, and there's not really a whole lot much that we can do about it. Sure, therapy could probably help, but, um, I guess... To an extent, there's not much that you can do if they are insane to the core. If that's what their all of their core personality is, like, on the surface. 
Because when you think about your personalities, think of it like a balancing act with a coin right here. Tipping in all directions. If you don't uh, keep that balance, then you'll start to act different than you usually do. Very difficult to try to, like, keep track of that. Emotions really do change the balance of that. Your state of mind deter is determined by your emotions. The demon side that way, that's rage. Lust. Well, I, I think lust is more like this side. Somewhere around, like, here. Happiness, goth, sadness, emo. It's just like the succubus side is like the bad side of the uh, lust coin. The one that of which that I can't stand. Unless it's, you know, girl on girl stuff. But if it's a guy doing it, I can't stand it. Because it ticks me off. I put myself in the girl's position. So I don't want to imagine that happening to me. I don't want to see that happening to someone by some disgusting guy. That's the thing with most of these mature drawings. Some of them are ruined by there being a presence of a guy who's just very disgusting. Like, not the handsome, like, with a beard and a cut body or, you know, slim. Still not into that, but just a complete and utter disgusting look. Like, fat, old, freaking balding... It's just that kind of stuff. I don't... I can't... Why do you want to see that? Hmm? Is it like in your head you're imagining yourself in the guy's position? Which if you are doing that, that's kind of weird. Although I guess it's even weirder to imagine myself in the position where the girls are dominating me, even if it's by force. So, who am I to talk? But yeah, you get what I'm talking about. The, the whole... Um, uh, I'll, I'll eat th this latest dead bush. Yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> oh, right, I was supposed to make uh, areas. I don't really know if there's any good areas here I can make. Oh, I got something in mind. An overgrowth area. Mayhaps, like, right over here. I'll get more work done with on that one side soon enough. But yes, whenever, you know, like, okay, like, porn's a good example. Yeah, I don't really like the straight porn stuff. I prefer girl-on-girl -girl stuff, mainly because you're looking at a, another guy doing it. Now, that's essentially what it is. It just doesn't really feel right, you know? It doesn't really feel right, especially if it's one of those, you know, ex un- like, absurdly, ha oh, I guess, like, both uh, spectrums kind of uh, is the thing of which I'm talking about. If it's absurdly handsome or absurdly ugly or old, I don't want to see that. Why do you have that there? Just no. God, no. Stop it. Ugh. That's the thing. That is the thing. And all those people... What are you doing back there? Don't give me that look. And that's the thing. All those homophobic people out there who are, like, banging on people, telling them to not be gay, go on ahead and watch straight porn, which is just guy on girl. You're watching a dude rail a girl with his long ass dick. Why? When you could be why? Well, okay, well. I imagine the, their argument is, well, I don't want to see girls doing it to a girl. That's another goal. And I'll be like, well, you're watching a guy doing it to a girl, and that feels that feels pretty gay to me. Feels pretty hypocritical. <clears throat> it's like, you dare call me a gay? I was going to say hypocrite, but I think they would probably be like, oh, I'm not gay! And they'd be like, well, you kind of are if you're watching a guy do it to a girl. Now, if you're watching a girl doing it to a girl, then, you know, it's just all girls. There are no guys. No dicks. Just girls. Ah, feels more natural to me. But no, in their heads, they're just like, nah. 
No, this is not this is not the way. This is not our way. We 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 gotta go on ahead and not do that. And it would probably ostracize me because of the fact that I'm into girl on girl stuff, despite the fact that it makes sense when you really get brought down to it. Who wanna see another guy do it to a girl when you can see another girl do it to a girl instead? Either way. I mean, think about porn-related stuff, which I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. When you think about that stuff, you gotta keep in mind that no matter what, if you're watching porn with a guy doing it to a girl, truth be told, it just feels like you're just watching a guy's dick and doing all that stuff. Although, I guess there's machine stuff, which makes sense. If you don't... If you're like, ugh. Uh, if, if you're like one of those guys like, I don't like seeing this uh, guy doing this to the girl, but I don't want to see girl on girl stuff. Well, uh, machines you got you covered. <laughs> Unless you're one of those people who are like, I don't like robots. <laughs> just freaking nothing pleases you, huh? You just can't find something to please you. The only thing they can get you... No, no, wait. Well, they're also like, I don't want to see a girl masturbate either. That's not natural. I'll be mean, like, dude, just pick a side and stick to... You're, you're literally on a side that makes no freaking sense right now. There's no pleasing you. Look at a rock. Look at a rock and just... Imagine it as a girl and just, just look... I don't know, freaking... <laughs> get hated over something that... Probably actually does exist, but doesn't uh, isn't actually happening right now. Jesus Christ! Ugh. Now I'm angry. Now you've done it. Now you've made me angry. I'm going to take my big green Scott or Iris or Scott. I think it's like a Scottish dick, and fuck you over the head with it, because you're making me so angry. Ugh. Well, folks, there you go. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a, like a whole, it's a whole level of mental gymnastics that I just don't know how the hell you're supposed to, like, come up with a solution for this lost soul who was just trying to find a way to wet their whistle. I, I think at that point, it's just, people like that just have to find a wife and just do it that way instead. They, they don't mass. They've never masturbated before in their entire life. Never watched a single bit of porn because none of it. Because everything they see in it, they hate. They don't like seeing girl on girl, but they don't like seeing guy on girl. They don't like seeing the girls masturbate. They don't like seeing robots doing it to the girl. They only can get off on their wife, and it's the most basic bare bitch stuff. No kinks involved. So goddamn vanilla that. So. God damn vanilla that Oh hold on. Mm, vanilla What was his name again? Vanilla Ah So damn vanilla that vanilla ice Vanilla what what hmm I suck at trying to come up with jokes. You know this about me. That vanilla ice Uh Admires this man because of how vanilla he is. Yes, sure, why not? That's not a joke. That is far from a joke. Well, um, there you go. I, I think... Have I taken that as far as I could? Maybe. I don't freaking know. All I know is I'm Maya now. I'm dumb and dumb thick. Hello, son! I'm Dummy Dummathick and the cloud my ass cheeks keep alerting the guards. Uh, my name's Doug Dummy Dum and I'm Dummy Dummathick. Freaking. I'm, I'm upset that I couldn't find a meme like that somewhere on the internet. Dimma. I look up. Hold on. Dimma Dummy Thick. Well, all right, here we go. 
Oh, I'm Doug Dimmadome. I'm Dimsdale Dimmadome. How about the Dimma Dip My Dimma Dick in your girl's Dimma Dumma Thick Booty Hole? I'm surprised I was able to actually to string that and send this together. This is the only freaking thing that I see here with a pumped up Dimma Jesus Christ. Uh, I can't wait to get to the point where I draw survival on Dimma Dome Island because that's. That's going to be hilarious and terrifying. You know what I mean, cat? No, you don't know what I mean. You're a cat. You see your nose touch. There we go. All right. Um. Jeez. Just stop destroying shit. I have something in mind for this one. Um, oh, let's make the spacing closer together. Um, and let's use these colors here. So, um, I guess we'll have a new plant type over here. New plant just dropped. Plant 3A. Uh, maybe make it darker, actually. A certain crimson bush over here. Oh, wait a minute. Dimma shit! You should be underneath that. Or dimma dump, actually. Dimma dam! Where's that dimma dam fourth chaos emerald? You're too late, Turner! I now have the seven chaos emeralds! You're dimma done for! Friggin' Christ. I'm not even able to get Doug Dimmadome's voice properly. I'm, I'm just winging it as best as I can. If I try to get his voice properly, I'm going to end up sounding like Hank Dimmadome, owner of the propane Strickland. Uh, I, you come up with something. I give up. All right. Um, plant 3B. Sure, on top of red plant within such an area. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, no, shit. All right, wait, actually, idea. Well, if we just stay away from that, then that would work. Yeah, why not? We have certain areas here. Try to, like, give us more. This is a jungle. We can make it a little bit more unique in a few departments. This is not an area. This is a point of interest. Alright then. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Ah, yes, yeah, some of this over here. And the Crimson Jungle is basically just a whole bunch of foliage all over the place, so it makes sense that it's just littered with a crap ton of foliage. At least we can still get demons placed all over the place. Uh, is there anything else here I can place? Yeah, I can put some stuff here. Why not? Why not? Uh, point 3C, I think this is. I'll make this like 70 or something. I'm sure there's a lot more that I can do with this. And you know what? I'm probably going ahead and take a break. And we'll call the video at around 2 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good time to call it. It's 145. Well, technically on my phone, it's 149. But on my clock, computer clock, at 150, I'm going to go on ahead and call... Whoops, that's the wrong one. Go ahead and call that there for the video, at least. We'll finish up the rest of this and then draw all the demons outlines and then we'll color all the demons in and all that stuff in a separate video. But uh, yes, I, I hope you found these conversations enjoyable. I hope my lack of respect for politics jive with ye. Or at the very least, it doesn't make you completely annoyed at the fact that somebody here doesn't give a damn a damn about, about politics. I follow no side. The demon side could have its way. Well, he just destroyed the entire planet. So, uh, yeah. Don't uh, piss off the demon side, I guess. Hopefully the rocks are here. Ah, uh, yes, the rocks are here. 
Also, why is the tree... Where is this tree at? Oh, that's where that tree's at. I'm gonna put the rocks underneath that. Why not? Uh, plant... Three E? Question mark? Yeah, sure. Three E. Why not? Uh, I'll have a big bush here. And we got three more minutes left in the video. Nan video. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll call this a blood bush. Why not? The area in question might have blood related stuff here. Um, where is the thing that I'm looking for? Oh, wait, I got an idea. Wait, blood? Blood coral? Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let me see what this looks like first. I'll do it here. I'll call it coral, despite the fact that it's not coral. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. It definitely has that bush look, that's for certain. Wherever that bush look is. Alright, cool, there we go. We just gotta properly apply it and make sure we get everything where we need to have here. Oh wait, no, not that far. Ah, shitberg. Uh, that's fine. Mm, that will work. Yeah, sure, that'll work. Ah uh, yes, a little bit more to the area. Adding more foliage, making it look even more grotesque. Oh, I can put this right here. Except for the fact that this is here. It's fine. I'll put it here. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Nice. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Uh, coral 1C. Put some over here. A very specific type of um, plant that looks like coral, but when you get close to it, it's just a bunch of spiky looking plants from afar. Definitely does look strange, that's for certain. All right, let's see. Definitely need some coral here. Um, not for crying out loud. Where is this bush at? Where is this at? Why is 2D here? Put 2D down here. Oh god, where is this? Wait, did that screw anything up? Yeah, it, it, it does, actually. At least if I put it underneath the plant. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Alright, it's fine. I can work with it. I can even have some coral. No. Apparently I can't have some coral there. Oh, well, look at that. Look at the tongue. Let me fit in this coral here for a quick second. <clears throat> Delete. No. Delete some of the coral here so that that's like this. Do some shade in, and there we go. <clears throat> All right, there's still a few more things left that I have to do, but we're making, we're making progress. We're getting like a nice red area over here and all that stuff. So yeah, there we go. Awesome, great. Anyways, um, <clears throat> thank you all for watching today's episode, uh, part part one of uh, the Cringe and Jungles, our time, all that stuff. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more, check out that their playlist, and of course, the next part of... Um, Actually, no. We start <laughs> the previous episode of our time over here and the most the next episode. The next episode of our time. Part two. Part two. Yes, part two. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm so tired. Anyways, thank you all for thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later.